Hello, welcome, and thank you for checking out what this podcast is all about. The Seasoned RD is a podcast for all professionals in the field of eating disorders. It's about how we get well-seasoned and how we stay that way. It's sort of a one-stop shop for resources, the people, and the connections that matter. Here, you'll hear things like how eating disorders became recognized as the second highest mortality rate of any mental health disorder instead of the first, and how a physical therapist can make a world of difference in the treatment of your clients and patients with eating disorders, and how genetics and neurobiological research has and continues to inform us, and thankfully how weight-centric practices are finally being called out. And who knows what's next? My guests are handpicked by me to keep us all informed and to keep myself, selfishly, well-seasoned. So a little bit about me. I am an RD, which stands for Registered Dietitian, and the ED and the seasoned is capitalized because I'm an EDRD, a eating disorder registered dietitian, sometimes called RDN or Registered Dietitian Nutritionist, but I'm an educator at heart. As a past dietetic internship director, I understand how hard it can be to provide diverse education and limited time. I came to the field of eating disorders by chance in 1993, just a little bit ago, when I began to juggle responsibilities of a new family and work, and I just didn't want that 40 plus hour a week clinical position anymore. And voila, there was a part-time position that came open at an inpatient eating disorders treatment hospital. And they took a chance on me with only the 15 minutes of knowledge on eating disorders that I had from my undergrad class, which is common regardless of which discipline you're coming from. So back in the day, I came across an awesome book by Reef and Reef called Nutrition Therapy for Eating Disorders. And at the time, it was considered the Bible for us RDs. And I actually still use some of the handouts from it because they are classic and the human body and psyche around food simply haven't changed that much. Also back then, it was the dreaded fat-free diet. And let's be clear, there's been hundreds of thousands of other diets since then that conflict and contradict. For example, at the time of this recording, instead of avoiding butter like you did back then, your diet might tell you to put butter in your coffee. So with restrictive dieting being the gateway to eating disorders, we really have to be able to openly talk about diets here. Because this podcast is for professionals, we will discuss specific diets by name and use numbers such as weights, calories, grams. We understand it's not appropriate for podcasts for consumers because numbers and diet talk can be triggering or activating. But for you as the professional, we're not going to censor that. So kind of going back to restrictive dieting of I consider counting, weighing, measuring your body, your macros, your calories, using the scales... And with restrictive dieting being that gateway for most eating disorders, diets have become such a focus that eating disorders have also unfortunately exponentially increased. And back to a little bit more of my history, I also had the wonderful opportunity to work at a children's hospital, eating disorders, outpatient, and medical stabilization center. There, I got to work with specialty doctors, nurses, dietitians, psychologists, psychiatrists, feeling so supported in that area, but also learning more about growth and development, how to read growth charts, things I wasn't really used to when I was working with older teens and adults. And then, right before I started this podcast, if you've heard of the CEDS or CEDRD, the Certified Eating Disorder Specialist, I was the director of certification where we certified doctors, dietitians, therapists, strength and conditioning coaches, and more. And that role included staying in front of knowing important traditional as well as cutting edge topics that we feel is important for all eating disorders professionals to have in their toolbox. And new for fall of 2021, I'm really excited because this has been in the works for a while. I'll be teaching an online graduate elective course specific to eating disorders care through the Great Plains Consortium. I can't wait to be in that virtual classroom with students who have the same passion that I do. Today, there are webinars, conferences, and trainings around every corner, and there are specializations within the specialization So consider this podcast that one-stop shop for understanding the basics and for staying current. My final note on this podcast, there's also a way to learn and to take care of ourselves and our clients through supervision, through peer consultation, and through continued learning and continued connection. 
collaboration among therapists, dietitian, and medical providers is so important for this biopsychosocial illness. And I couldn't have ever been in this field as long as I have without surrounding myself with amazing colleagues, amazing supervisors, of which I've had several over the years. And by the way, continue to reach out for supervision and consultation to those who help me see my blind spots so I can show up my best for myself and my clients. I'll share my mistakes here and some of my guests will share theirs. And this vulnerability is a gift in action because that can be the best way to learn, heal, and grow. My co-host is Abby Brown, who is a newer RD in the field, and she brings this energy and curiosity and perspective that's so important to me to understand better what it's like to be a newer clinician coming into this work. If you've made it to this part in the intro, then stay with us by subscribing so you can have the newest episodes delivered as they roll out, share with friends, fellow students, and colleagues who you know would love to be with us here. A final note on this podcast, this is also a way to learn how to take care of ourselves and our clients through supervision, through peer consultation, and through continued learning and continued connection. 